Monkey. Now, David Benavides Sr., the father of David Benavides, has come out and absolutely ripped Canelo Alvarez for saying that he doesn't want to fight Mexicans. David Benavides Sr. said that Canelo is scared. Now, I actually understand where David Benavides Sr. is coming from. Obviously, I don't think Canelo Alvarez is scared. I've said this time and time again. These fighters in the same weight class, they're not scared of each other. They're warriors. But I believe he came out and said this because he's frustrated that his son might not get the opportunity to fight Canelo Alvarez. I understand that Canelo Alvarez is very patriarchal. He loves Mexicans and his country and his people. But, you know, other Mexican fighters would be thinking, wow, imagine if I get an opportunity against Canelo. If I can beat Canelo, I can dethrone him as the number one Mexican fighter. And on top of that, I would get a massive payday. But with Canelo Alvarez coming out and saying that, you know, he doesn't want to fight Mexicans, you know, these other Mexican fighters in his weight division are going to think to themselves, well, listen, mate, I understand you're Mexican and we're from the same country and all, but at the end of the day, this is boxing and I want an opportunity to win the belt and I want an opportunity to get a big payday. And that's the angle and I suspect that's the way Benavidez Sr. and David Benavidez would be thinking. So I understand why they would be frustrated with Canelo saying that he doesn't want to fight Mexicans. Um, when talking about Benavidez, I feel like that's the best fight for Canelo Alvarez. I mean, we often talk about the Jamal Charlo fight. Charlo is at 160 pounds and Canelo campaigns at 168 pounds. Realistically, I don't see um, Jamal Charlo being able to fight Canelo because... You know, they're in two different weight classes. Do you really believe Canelo would go down to 160? I don't think so. You know, Charlo could move up to 168 pounds, but Canelo has a bunch of mandatories on top of the Triple G fight. So let's just say hypothetically, Canelo beats Triple Gs. One of the sanctioning bodies would sanction a mandatory fight for Canelo. And... We know that David Benavides, if you guys haven't looked at the rankings, look at the rankings. David Benavides is essentially the WBC interim champion. So, you know, sooner or later, Canelo will be mandated by the WBC to fight David Benavides. And if he doesn't want to fight Benavides, then, well, he might have to relinquish the WBC uh, championship. Personally, you know, from a selfish point of view, I would like to see the Benavides fight happen because I feel like that would be a very, very 50-50 fight because Benavidez is very, very big. I feel like I've seen some people, well, not I feel like, I've seen some people call Benavidez a weight bully because, you know, on fight night, he looks like a massive super middleweight. He almost looks like a light heavyweight, even a cruiserweight in there at times on fight night. So Benavidez is massive. So could he do a similar job to Dimitri Bivol? But yeah, it just all really depends. If Canel Alvarez is adamant he doesn't want to fight Mexicans and the WBC mandate a fight between Canelo and um, Benavidez, if Canelo really and truly doesn't want to fight Mexicans, he would have to relinquish his belts. You know, he would get a lot of criticism. People will say, oh, he's ducking and so on and so forth. And whilst I don't think he is scared or he is ducking personally, you know, it's hard to defend Canelo when he comes out and makes a statement like that. Because that would do some crazy pay-per-view numbers and that would sell out. The Mexican fan base is very, very prevalent in the sport of boxing. Mexican fans always turn out into stadiums and they fill out stadiums and they support their fighters. And they're buying the pay-per-view and they're talking about the fight. So there's a lot of financial mileage or financial gain in a potential Benavidez and Canelo Alvarez fight. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think Canelo Alvarez, can, sorry, Canelo Alvarez is ducking David Benavidez? Who would you feel would win that fight? I know a lot of people are critical of David Benavidez's defense. They say, oh, well, he needs to really tighten up because, you know, he could get caught by Canelo. 
You know, his defense would need to be really sharp if he came up against someone like a Canelo Alvarez. Though he definitely does have the offensive tools. I don't think to knock out Canelo, because Canelo is someone who, he's just got a granite chin, does he? But he could definitely put pressure on Canelo and potentially hurt him or stun him, maybe knock him down. I mean, it's really hard to see Canelo get knocked down, in all honesty, because he's got such a fantastic chin. But yeah, it was just a very bizarre statement in general for, from Canelo that he doesn't want to fight Mexicans. Again, I understand it, but I still find it bizarre at the same time. Because what if someone like Errol Spence came out and said, I don't want to fight American fighters? Or Tyson Fury said that, I don't want to fight anyone from the UK. If Tyson Fury came out and said that he didn't want to fight anyone from the UK, people would say, oh, he's ducking Anthony Joshua. If Errol Spence or Terence Crawford said, I don't want to fight American fighters, they would say that, you know, Spence or Crawford, depending on who said it, are ducking each other. So it's interesting, really. Anyway, guys, it's just a quick video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. You know, are you annoyed with Canelo coming out and saying this? You know, personally, it's not that deep. I don't really care at the end of the, at the, end of the day, but I would obviously like to see a matchup between a Canelo and a Benavidez, though there are other good fights that could be made. I just feel like uh, Benavidez is probably the best challenger, the best competitor, you know, at 168 pounds. He's already beaten all of the other top guys. You know, he's beaten a Caleb Plant. He's beaten a Billy Joe Saunders. So he's pretty much cleared out the division. All right, guys. Peace.